in this video I will talk about the genetics of depression. First, what is depression? Depression is a mental disorder characterized by low mood and low motivation. Depressive symptoms can be cured by drugs that block the uh, reuptake of serotonin, SSRIs, or drugs that boost the production of serotonin like 5-HTP, and drugs that block the reuptake of dopamine such as amphetamines or cocaine. Uh, I shouldn't say cured, more like treated. The logical conclusion here is that the genes most strongly implicated in this mental illness are those that have to do with the production, transportation, and absorption of dopamine and serotonin within the system. In this video, I will present to you a couple such genes. First is the TPH2 gene. The TPH2 gene is located on the 12th chromosome. It is responsible for the conversion of tryptophan into 5-HTP, which is later converted to serotonin by the brain. Perhaps there is a group of people whose depression is caused by a dysfunction in this gene. For them, 5-HTP may be a very helpful supplement. Imagine how awesome that would be if we could use DNA results to treat mental illnesses. So here are two different um, SNPs within this gene. You can look them up in your file. Uh, interesting thing to note is that the unhealthy alleles are most common in Europeans. And I give a little citation for the sources. So um, next is the TPH1 gene. The TPH1 gene does the same thing TPH2, uh, TPH2 gene does, uh, but it is located on the 11th chromosome instead of 12. Um, so here is one SNP that I could find that uh, has a correlation with certain things related, related to mental health, for example, being addicted to heroin. Um, and unlike the TPH2 gene, here the Europeans have the highest frequency of the protective or healthy alleles. Next, uh, let's move on to SLC6A15. It is a salute carrier gene, and it mostly has to do with the transportation of serotonin. It is located also on the 12th chromosome. Uh, here you can see some of the SNPs in this gene that um, I have, I'm going to highlight for you guys. Mm, so it is interesting that here the alleles that have to do with a higher likelihood of depression are more common in Sub-Saharan Africans. And another very interesting mutation is also found within this SLC6A15 gene. It is the 5-HTTT LPR mutation. Essentially, it is a degenerative genetic repeat that, uh, with most people having the short or incomplete version of the gene, uh, causing a slightly higher likelihood of depression and a lower ability to transport serotonin. You can check whether or not you have the long version by looking at your calls for these SNPs. So within this SNP, if you have the G allele, you probably this is the long version. In this SNP, if you have the G allele, this is the long version. If you have G alleles in both, like me, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to have long version 5-HTT LPR, which is pretty rare. But if you have um, G allele in only one of the two SNPs, you have a 91 to 96% likelihood of having long version 5-HTT LPR. And if you have no G alleles in either, either SNPs, you most likely have short form 5-HTT LPR uh, that is associated with depression and um, sadness and despair. Other genetic variants contributing to depression. A 2019 study found 87 novel variants significant in identifying the genetics of depression. So here you can see a chart with the p-values and um, the um, SNPs and you see this big very very tall very very tall um, SNP in the very first chromosome you might not be able to see it because it's such a small image but it's in the very left of the image this is the SNP that I've highlighted and it has a p-value of 4 times 10 to the power of negative 52 which is a very low p-value which means it's a very statistically significant um, SNP 
and the A allele is associated with a higher likelihood of depression and is more common among East Asians and the least common among Africans. What's interesting, it is located in the Nyegar gene, which to me as a Russian sounds like a racial slur, uh, but it actually stands for neuronal development or something. Uh, it, it has to do with uh, how your brain is wired. So it's a very important gene. But Nyegar, indeed, in Russian, it sounds like you're calling somebody a... Okay, so this is how this information... And here is how this information may be useful to you. If you watch my videos and are visiting a psychiatrist for depression, consider checking what you have in the TPH1 and TPH2 genes. Perhaps your depression could be solved without the usage of complicated medicines that make you infertile, obese, and disabled in every way, simply by adding 5-HTP or tryptophan to your diet. And of course, keep carrying on. Never kill yourself. When you are at your darkest, when you are at your darkest, read the Bible and Jesus Christ will save you. There is no illness that God cannot cure.